Hey everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. Today I'm going to be working on five fun and simple spring and Easter DIYs. These farmhouse decor ideas are so charming, I think you're going to love them. Now for DIY number one, we're going to be using one of these bunny shaped egg holder trays. Now the eggs I did purchase at Michael's, but you could just as well use the eggs that they have there at Dollar Tree. Now you will need to add probably about three layers of the chalk paint to get this to cover really well. And then I ended up adding a layer of the Mod Podge on top of that after the layers of paint dried. And that seemed to seal everything in really well. And you will want to let every layer of paint dry really well. I use my heat gun to dry each layer in between. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But I love how this design turned out. It was a really fun and simple one. I ended up using some of that paper shred again. I have a little bit of an allergy to that moss, but the moss would be really cute if you can use that. But they have a brown color of the paper spread and I just love how that looked with the color of eggs that I was actually using for my design. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some of the paper shred just a little bit in each one of the little egg inserts and then that way it'll make like a little bed of grass for the eggs to lay on. And you could use whatever color eggs that you like. I know I have taken the Dollar Tree eggs before and actually wrapped them in different colored papers and you could actually paint them whatever color to match your decor but I found these at Michaels and I really like the color tone so I decided to use these now I do end up adding some rope twine at the very end around the edging of the bunny and I did take and cover the back with some cardstock paper and some of that brown paper from Dollar Tree and then I just ended up using a little rope twine hanger on the back and then I just made this very loose little rope twine bow to cover that hole right on top and you could actually set this up on a shelf or you could hang it up on a wall like I did but I love how this one turned out and I hope you do also you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below Well, everyone, here's how our bunny turned out, and I think it's just a charming little spring Easter decor piece. Now for DIY number two, I had three of these little picture frames that I had found at Dollar General a while back. Now for this design, I'm going to be taking some of this scrapbooking paper that I found at Hobby Lobby, and I really like these that had the different textures because I wanted this piece to have just a little bit of a vintage, rustic kind of look, and I just love how it turned out. But they have several different ones there at Hobby Lobby that have the different types of textures, but I picked some in these kind of the brown and neutral tones.
Now I'm just going to use my Gorilla Hot Glue and glue these together really well. But the next thing I'm going to do is take one of these napkins that I had actually found these also at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to cut out the bunny shapes that I like and a few of the flowers. And then I'm just going to Mod Podge these on here. And I like the different textures on the scrapbooking paper with the brown tones in the bunny. But you may want to do yours a little different. But just for my home decor and where I was going to display this, I really like this little textured look. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just take my Mod Podge and apply a thin layer on the top of the scrapbooking paper and then I'm going to apply my napkin and put another thin layer on top of the napkin and that seals everything in really well. Now after everything dries really well, the bunnies will darken in the color tone and you'll be able to see them really well. But this design turned out really charming. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely like the way it turned out and am happy to display it in my little corner in my home. everyone I hope you're still here with me here is DIY number three and I believe this is one of my favorites that I done in this group now the first thing I am gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and stain all of the items that I'm gonna need for the next three DIYs to finish out this video but I'm gonna be taking some of that Waverly antique wax watering it down and I actually had one of these extra it's the little kitty litter pans so there's a nice little tip to try and like I said they're at Dollar Tree for a dollar and I usually find them on the bottom or sometimes on the floor. Well everyone while we're staining these I will go ahead and mention a couple of things. First of all I would like to say thank you thank you for helping me reach the 2500 subscribers and I am getting everything together to do our giveaway basket. But with that being said, I want everyone to maybe drop one or two things in the comments below that they can't find at their Dollar Tree that 
maybe if I can find them at mine, I'll be able to include them in the basket. I can't promise that I will find everything that you add to the comments, but I will definitely look for those items. And I will do a video of what I did find. And then on that video, I will also give you all of the details for the drawing that we'll have for the basket. Okay everyone, we're almost done staining the birdhouses with the last one. Now here is DIY number three, and this was one of my favorites. And what you're gonna need for this design is one of the wood bunnies from Dollar Tree, and then six of those wood carrots, and then I used one of the long boards that I love that they're carrying those now. You can do so many things with those. And I decided to wrap my carrots in this yarn that they are carrying from Dollar Tree. Absolutely love the colors that you can find there. But the first thing I'm gonna do is take that ivory Waverly chalk paint again, and I'm gonna put a couple layers of that on that long board. And I'm really liking this ivory color tone for the spring decor this year. But they have several different colors that you could do this in. I almost did it in a black and white. Would That would be absolutely gorgeous. But I wanted to keep with these earthy, kind of rustic tones. That's why I picked out the colors that I did in the yarn. But you just take this, put a little hot glue on the end of that, and just start wrapping that yarn around your carrot. And as you get up to the top where you're hitting that curve, you gotta start adding more of the hot glue, and that will keep the yarn from slipping but it turned out great and then I decided that I was going to use some of that moss green Waverly chalk paint and just paint over where the greenery is going to be and you actually could have just used the paint if you wanted to if you didn't have the greenery and fill in that hole with some of the spackling but I had this greenery left over and I did get that at Dollar Tree and of course like always you will find all of the items I use for every design in the description below but I added that little bit of green on there just because I thought it would help when I put the green on that you wouldn't see through and just see the board look. But this design was so fun and so simple. And like I said, it was one of my favorites. And you'll definitely have to let me know what you think of this design in the comments below.
Okay, everyone, now we're just gonna go ahead and take some hot glue and just glue our greenery right on top of there. And you can add as much or as little of this as you like. But aren't these carrots just adorable? I love how they turned out. And I think this definitely is a design that I'll be doing in different color tones. Now I'm just going to go ahead and place the carrots on how I want them to be. And that's just personal preference. You can arrange these however you want. You could stagger them a little bit, maybe one higher and one lower. But I decided just to do mine right straight across. And I just love how the carrots pop when you get them on that ivory board. And like I said, such a fun and simple design, but it has just a very charming and a really high-end look. And I just can't wait to see what other color tones that I can come up with a design like this. Now I am going to do something that I haven't done before. I'm actually going to take my yarn and make a little bow out of it instead of using the rope twine that I always use. And I really love how that bow turned out. So I think I'll definitely be trying to use a few more of the little yarn bows on a few of my decor pieces. Well everyone, here is our finished bunny in the carrot patch and I just absolutely love it. Like I said, I hope you do too. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to DIY number four. And DIY number four is just a very charming Easter piece. And I found this cross at Dollar Tree. And when I found it, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. Then I went ahead and stained it. And then I took that wood flower that you can find at Dollar Tree. And when I saw those black rocks, I just really knew that I was gonna use those for this decor design. And then the two little angels, I actually found those at Dollar General recently. So if you like this design and wanna make it, I'm sure they still have those. Now I did find these little wood pieces at Walmart and I'm not even sure what they are, but I thought they would just make neat, fun little legs to make this kind of a riser. And it just turned out really charming. And you'll have to let me know what you think of this one. But I thought this was just a really sweet Easter decor piece. And you can actually keep it up through the spring and summer season. Well, all year long if you would like. But what I'm going to do is put a really thick layer of the Mod Podge on top of the flower. And then I'm going to pour those little black rock pebbles on there and just let them set. Now, I do end up spraying. For, uh, drizzling some of the Mod Podge on top of that and you may see a little bit of that in the photo but once it dried the next day everything did dry really clear and I just kind of turned it upside down a little bit and any loose pieces would just fall off and there was still plenty that had glued to the board. And I did use the E6000 glue and that held the little angels up really well also. But I end up, you'll see here in a moment, I end up taking some cheesecloth and just tearing it into a strip and I just drape that over the cross and it just finished this design off and made just the most charming little Easter decor piece.
Okay, everyone, here is DIY number five, and this is our last DIY. Now, this design is more about the actual, I guess you would call it like a little shadow box. You could hang it on the wall, or you could use it as a shelf sitter, but I wanted to show you just how simple it was to put this design together and a few different ways that you can decorate it. And it just turned out to be like one of those little staple pieces that you could use to decorate all year long. But it was a simple little decor piece and it's definitely one I'll probably make a few more of in different shapes and sizes just to display my items on. Well, everyone here I was just trying out a few things with this little box I actually ended up going with the one that I didn't get to film and that was the one you'll see in the beginning in the photograph but I ended up using the birdhouses and then I pulled some of my little spring flowers but any of these designs are cute and like I said it's just whatever you want to do and whatever makes you smile in your home decor but I was just trying out some of this little decorative thread, and I don't know if you've ever used that decorative thread, but I kind of like how it turned out. And like I said, I don't use the moss too much, but I did find these eggs at uh, Hobby Lobby, and I thought they were kind of just a very simple design to add in. Well, everyone, those are the five DIYs that I have for you today. I hope you have enjoyed them. You'll have to let me know which one is your favorite. If you have a favorite, well, everyone, we're about done with today's video, and I just want to send a big hug and love to everyone out there, and thank you so much for your support, and keep sharing and liking and commenting. I just love hearing from each and every one of you. Well, I'm going to say goodbye now, and I will see you on the next one.